It's a free player for sample libraries and instruments that has a built-in synth engine with more than 70 effects. There's a bunch of free libraries and instruments available for it. You can use it in Cubase, Logic, Ableton, and other DAWs, and you can use it in standalone mode. And yes, you heard me right, it's 100% free. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Howlian Sonic 7. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it to its full potential, and I'm gonna show you some well-hidden features that you probably didn't know about. Now, you may have heard of Halion 7. This is the full version that comes with a lot of additional features, and it's been covered extensively on this channel. You can go to steinberg.net and compare the differences between Halion and Halion Sonic, but today's video is all about Halion Sonic. And believe me, Steinberg has packed a ton of value into this freebie. So I highly recommend downloading it, as well as all of the other free instruments and following along because today we're gonna have some fun. Let's check it out. So starting with the essentials, let's load up an instance of Halion Sonic. So we've got all of my sample libraries here on the right. We'll grab something from our free lo-fi piano instrument to start. The first thing that you should know is that you can customize the view to your liking. For example, this little P icon on the top right allows us to switch between the editor and the player view. So much cleaner. If you don't want to see all those menus, you don't have to. We have further display options. These three little dots here at the top right, if we click that and uncheck auto configuration, you can choose whether you want to see these trigger pads, the quick commands, and the keyboard. I personally like having all of those visible, so I just generally keep auto configuration on. Now, the Lo-Fi Piano instrument has got to be one of the coolest freebies out there not only because I write a lot of lo-fi hip-hop, but each of these presets comes with its own unique set of chord pads. And this is a really cool feature built into Halion. There's a few really cool ways that we could use these chord pads to help us build a track. So this preset's called Lazy Cat, and these chord pads sound like this. Now, I've got quite a few chord pad presets that I could choose from. You can also build your own. And you can just right-click on these pads to assign it to any key on the MIDI keyboard. So we'll learn trigger note, and I'll just hit the C on my keyboard here. There it is. So if I just quickly assign these other pads, then right away I can start throwing down ideas for a chord progression. Now I can also drag the chord MIDI information directly into the session. Let's change this to player view, and I'll just click and drag. Now, if I don't want those trigger notes anymore, super easy, just right click, forget trigger note. So we'll get a little idea started here. Let's join these together. Maybe the velocity is a bit much. We can bring that down. There we go. So that feels like a good starting point. Okay, let's bring in another instance of Halion Sonic and let's go a little deeper with it. So one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that Halion Sonic has a built-in virtual analog synthesizer that you can use to build your own presets. It's a really amazing sound design tool. So let me show you how to access this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our program slots. We're gonna right click and choose init program. Okay, let's come over here to L1 and let's check out the oscillator page. So we've got three different oscillators to choose from, a sub oscillator, we can add ring modulation, as well as noise. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to build really cool synth presets from scratch, and then I'm gonna show you how to save them too, so you can pull them up another time in a different session if you need to. So by default, it sounds like this. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's try changing oscillator one to a triangle wave. I'm gonna activate multi-oscillator mode and click this E button to open up the multi-oscillator parameters. Let's change the number of voices here to three and detune them a bit. Maybe push up the stereo spread a little. Okay, I'll come over to oscillator three and let's push this sine wave up an octave. Also gonna activate multi-oscillator mode, increase the number of voices and detune. So getting somewhere kind of interesting. Let's introduce some noise. I like the pink noise. We turn this way up. You can hear it. Let's bring it down to about five or so. And I'll throw in a bit of ring modulation. Okay, let's come down to the bottom here and select the amplifier envelope. And let's shape this a bit. So nice long decay. 
Now let's switch over to the filter page and let's select tube drive. Let's push up that distortion. Now we're starting to sound pretty cool. Now I haven't told you about the quick controls yet and these really come in handy and they're really easy to set up. All you gotta do is right click on any parameter and assign it to a quick control for your convenience. For example, let's say this distortion, right clicking and assigning to quick control number one. And now we've got easy access to it. I don't have to come back to this page to make adjustments. So I might add this cutoff here to quick control number two. And maybe let's try making this preset sound a bit more analog. So we have some low frequency oscillators that we can use here in the bottom. Let's, for example, take LFO4 and we'll assign this oscillator to the pitch. To do that, you just have to jump over to the matrix, select your source, LFO M4, destination, pitch. And if we push the depth value here up, it's gonna sound pretty crazy. Maybe let's do like less than half of that. Just a bit of pitch wobble might be nice. And this synth preset is starting to sound pretty cool. Now, like I mentioned at the start, there's a ton of built-in effects in Halion Sonic, and these are the same effects that you're gonna find in the full version. So let's click on the inserts page, and maybe let's add a bit of reverb. Beautiful. Let's right click on the mix, and I'm gonna assign this to quick control three. What else can we add to this patch? Let's try something from the legacy menu. Maybe pan and tremolo. Very cool. Bring the rate down a bit. I'm gonna assign this mix to quick control number four. So tons of other effects that we can use. I'm pretty happy with the way this sounds. And what I'm gonna do right now is save this preset. There's a few different ways we can do that. You can come over to your program slots and click the disc icon here, save program. Up at the top here, if we hover over the name, we can just click save program. So let's come up with the preset name. Let's say we call it Chill and Moody. We can select a category for it. Let's put it under Synth Pad, Style. I can select Ambient Chill Out. Under Properties, we can select Analog. I can choose multiple tags here, Ambient. And we can select a rating for it too. Let's give it five stars. Okay, once we hit OK, we're safe to remove this program. So let's get rid of it. And then if we come over to All in your Media Bay, we can either search it, there it is, or we can filter out the factory content and just look at the user content. And there it is, chill and moody. Let's pull it up and you're good to go. So another amazing feature about Halion Sonic is that you can combine patches and create multis. Let's go ahead and add another layer. So coming over to the program slots here, you can see that once we hover over it, we can load program. Let's go ahead and do that. And maybe we'll choose another freebie instrument. How about the Alto Glockenspiel? Let's pull that up. Let's set the MIDI for the glockenspiel to come out of channel one. Okay, how do these sound together? Pretty dreamy, I like it. And maybe for fun, we'll just add one more program. Let's bring in the free version of Colors. I'm just gonna solo this program so we can hear it. Really nice pad. And if we wanna make some fine adjustments to the volume of each of these programs, say if you don't like the mix between them, let's come over to the mix and we can adjust the levels right here. I'm gonna bring the glockenspiel down a bit. Okay, I really like the way that this multi-patch sounds. Now I wanna save it. In order to do that, you wanna come up here to the top of these program slots, to this disc icon where it says save multi-program as. Let's hit that. And same thing, give it a name, call this uh, smooth colors. You can add your category, properties, rating, all that. Click OK. And just like last time, you're safe to remove all of these programs. We'll get rid of them. And if you wanna load your multis, you just come over here to the top of the program slots. Again, you wanna click this file icon and uncheck the factory content, hit all, and then under user, you'll find your multi-patch. And you can also filter your preset types right here. Right now it's set to multis. We can select all presets, we can select our programs, layers, and multis. So switching gears here a little bit, I thought it would be cool to put all of these free instruments to the test. I gave myself about 20 minutes to come up with something. Here's what happened. So starting with our original lo-fi piano progression. I basically doubled this 
using the novel piano. This is by Sonic Adams. It's got a really beautiful cinematic tone. So doubling these chords, taking that same MIDI and throwing it into taped vibes. I love this instrument, beautiful whirly tone, playing that solo. How cool is that? I brought in a few drum and percussion loops from the Lo-Fi Dreams pack, sounds like this. And of course I'm using our Smooth Colors multi-patch for a little top line melody, doubling that with the Navia harp, another amazing freebie, adding a bit of movement to this progression using guitar harmonics, super cool tone, I love the way this sounds. I wanted a bit of floaty texture on top of everything. I'm using this free colors patch for that. Just really ambient. I created a really simple subby bass patch using the built-in synth for Halley and Sonic. And then we've got a few textural layers here from Xtreme. And these are sort of transitional samples. And Xtreme is a free spectral synthesizer, which is amazing for like dark cinematic scores but it also works for this chill lo-fi track. Check this out. There's two layers here. Just a short and simple idea. Let's check it out. Okay, I'll leave it there. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Be sure to head on over to steinberg.net to get a hold of Halion Sonic, the many free instruments that are available for it, as well as countless other amazing products. You can find those links in the description of this video as well. Until next time, my name's Stevie B. This has been a lot of fun. Wishing you guys well, and I will see you soon. Take care.